Hey guys, I'm Bob and this is Molly. Hey guys. Right now we're in the SS205. This is the newest hurricane in the fleet and we couldn't be more excited about this boat. Launching off the success of the 185, we wanted to build a little bit bigger boat, a little bit wider boat, just a little bit faster boat. And boy, did we. This boat's got so many cool features in it. It took what we did on the 185 and sort of stretched it all out. What do you think, Molly? This is great. Uh, the new furniture that you see, the new vinyl interiors, this is our gray, standard gray with pearl white accent. Um, it's, it's gorgeous. This boat turned out great. It's beautiful and so much room in it. There Amazing is Amazing amount tons. of room in it. Two yes. people could easily lay out. I believe we have an optional bow filler piece for it. And yes. what do we got right here? Well, let's just have a look. Oh, cooler like box, a, could be a live well? Yeah, a live well in there. So if we take a fish package on this boat, we'd make that into a live well and we'd have the ability to put one fish chair on this boat, I believe, on the front. Yes. That's great, so we, we'll see a lot of fish packages ordered on this boat. We've also got a great front and rear boarding ladder on this boat. And we were able to flip out stainless steel and integrate the anchor storage all in one. So it really gave us a flatter surface up front on the, on the bow, less moving parts, nice non-skid in the deck, and on the starboard part, really nice swim platform. Hey Molly, take a look at this great refreshment center. All right, got this here, put that in there. How do you wow, like that? Wow, that's nifty. Oh, I like it a lot. Yeah. Gives me the ability to, to put snacks out on it and just get, it really, really hides away nicely. And because it's got this rear lip on it, it can't bounce out. Absolutely. It won't fall out when the kids run into it. Yeah. It's really, really a great design. You've got a great well in here. Yep. It's really, really nicely done. And that's the ability we were able to do in the little bigger boat than the 185, was to make this a little bit more functional than the 185 in terms of features and storage. Molly, you look comfortable, but you also look like you can't reach the <laughs> steering wheel. Yeah, let's Why don't you pull that, that forward? So on the 205, Ooh. we were able to incorporate a slide track for the helm seat. We're also able to give some functionality to this seat. So this seat, the backrest flips forward so that we can sit, lay out, look backwards and enjoy the, watching the kids or just get some sun. Really nice helm setup on it again. We left plenty of space here for your aftermarket accessories or we offer full instrumentation here as well. Shifters in a great position. Cup holder for the captain, sort mm -hmm. of important. And then tremendous storage behind. Seating all the way around. And one of the things that we did on this boat is the side step. So people were trying to get in and out of the boat. We wanted to make sure that we left a pad for people to be able to stand on coming in and out of the boat when they pull up to the dock on that side. It really works out very well for folks. Instead of trying to wrap seating all the way around where some people don't like to step on seating, we have a non-skid -skid pad right there when you're coming in and out of the boat. So it really works out well. And when you're sitting forward or backwards, you have leg room there where when you have an L group seating, you really have no leg room in that corner. This has tremendous leg room as six, eight people are sitting in this back of this boat. It's got plenty of room. Well, this stern is obviously noticeable. There's yeah. a lot of room on the back of this boat. I know the motor's not here, but it actually looks like there's a walkway there. Yeah, you can definitely, once you get up on your ladder, you can walk from one side to the other to let everyone else on board. And then, of course, we have our step through here, and um, then your step down. And then, as you mentioned previously, your additional step through on the other side. And I would assume we can put an optional ski tow bar right here in the middle, right? Yes. And so we could have a day on the water, go to the sandbar, watch the kids swimming, yes. handle those water skis and all those kids in the back. It's a great family boat, Molly. Yes, it is. Definitely like, within the budget as well. I like the design of this. This is this is a really pretty, this is Monaco blue? This is Monaco blue, oh, yes, beautiful. that's One correct. of my favorite colors, the blue and white. It's a classic, I like the gray interior in it. This boat will stand the test of time. Molly, this boat's beautiful. Is this a heavily optioned boat? What am I looking at here? This boat does not have all of your heavy options. It comes very standard, and that's how we like it for this one. Wow, so I'm seeing all of the stuff, the Fusion Bluetooth stereo, yes. a full canopy on the boat, yep. the swing back, the flip-flop seat with the slider. Everything I see on this boat is a standard boat, right? Yes, absolutely. And for the stereo, you get the Fusion RA55, and then you get two black speakers that come with that standard on this and boat. And we can option in a couple more speakers, I would guess? Yes, you can option in more speakers and a couple of upgraded stereo heads. Well, this is a tremendous value with a great, great interior look to it. We did it. Really nice. Thanks yes. so much for showing us the boat. I'm really happy with this boat, and I think the dealers are going to love this boat just the way it comes. Yes, and the customers too. They will love it as well. Awesome. Thanks, Molly. Thank you.